Hey guys, on today's video, we're going to be installing and setting up your Google, all right? So whichever you guys have, whether it's your minis, all right, Google Home Mini, or your Google Home, it's all the same setup, and we're going to go through it step by step. So the first thing you guys should know is that you have to download an app. But before we do that, just to show you how you guys are supposed to hook these up. So here's your connection for your Google Home, and you guys will notice down here below, all right, that's where you guys have to plug this in. So this goes to your outlet. So that's that. Now we'll go to your outlet and your minis. They're all the same. So here's your connection. It's a little bit different. Okay, so here's your connection. That's how you're supposed to hook it up, right there. And this will go into your outlet. So you don't have to plug these in yet. We're gonna download the app first. But right now you have it all set up and we're gonna download the app. So, the app, you guys don't need an iPhone. What you guys do need is something. So it could be an Android, an iPad, iPod Touch, or any iPhone for that matter. So you guys will have to go into your App Store. Okay, so there's my App Store. We're gonna tap right there. And we're gonna search for Google Home. Google Home. Okay, so here's our first option. You guys should see Get. Now, if you guys downloaded this from before, you guys will see a cloud thing right there. Just get the first thing that says Google Home. So that's the correct one. That's what you're supposed to download. This will not take long. It's only going to take maybe a minute or two. If your internet speed's really slow, sure, you guys could see anywhere from 5 to 10 minutes. So at this time, before you even open it up, I would even suggest hooking these guys up so you guys can power them on and have them ready. So usually I would do that. But in this case, we're just going to go and just open it up. So here it is. We're just going to tap on Get Started. OK, so at this point, we have to choose our Google account. So you guys have, do have to have a Gmail account for this. And if you guys don't have one, just create one really fast. I'm not going to go through that just because that's going to be a waste of time for setting up purposes. However, right now we have our Google account. Just select OK. All right. Now you're supposed to turn on Bluetooth. So on your device, if it's an iPhone, such as this one, just go to your settings and turn on Bluetooth. Hold on one second. So I have turned on my Bluetooth. And at this point, remember I told you guys to hook these guys up and turn them on? Well, we're gonna do that right now because it's looking for any one of these. So when you first turn them on, you're going to see your Home Mini go like this. Those lights, you guys should see those on. And your Google Home, you guys should see this, all right? See this light Welcome blinking? Welcome to Google Home. There you to go. To get started, download the Google Home app Welcome on a phone or tablet. To get started, download the Google Home app on a phone or tablet. Okay, so we're going to keep going. Remember the setup of this color Home Mini. It's the same thing as this one. And we're going to go back on our phones. Okay, so we're just going to run this again. So right here, let's go to setup. We're just going to do Google Home, for example. And it's going to hook up. So it's hooking up to this one right now. However, it's the same thing, same steps for Google Home. So I'm going to set this apart. So it asks you if you heard a sound. And of course, yes, we did. You guys can also select no thanks here. I always say yes. Where is this device? So I'm just going to choose entryway. From here, it's going to ask you your Wi-Fi network. OK, so you guys have to see your Wi-Fi network here. If you guys don't see it, just keep scrolling down. And you guys could type in your network. So if it's a hidden network, just go to other Wi-Fi network and you guys could connect up to it. Okay, once we go next, you type in your password for your Wi-Fi. It should give you this screen connecting to Wi-Fi. So that's syncing up actually your Google Home to connect to your Wi-Fi. Okay, it's not connecting your iPhone or your app. It's connecting your Google Home or your Google Home Mini in this case. So we're just going to tap on next. We are going to tap on more at the moment. And well, this is really your preference, all right, guys? 
So I'm not going to tell you exactly what to do here because it all depends on you guys whether you guys want or don't want. For most of you, since you guys want to get the most out of your Home Mini or Google Home, I would say turn on. Do have to click on agree there. There's no other way around it. Okay, Google. Okay, Google. Hey, Google. Hey, Google. Just go agree. Try not to have too much noise in your background like I did. So you can choose your voice, your, your assistant's voice, right? So I'm gonna choose voice number one just to make things easier, but you guys can go through them and see which one you like best. However, I do think number one is just fine. I'm gonna allow. As for entering your address, again, I recommend doing it. You guys can always click on not now, but we're gonna go in next. Okay, so from here, we do have several options. So you guys have YouTube Music, Spotify, Pandora, and so on. Google Play Music is free. So if you guys want premium, then you guys could just do a trial basis. For Spotify, same deal, right? You guys can do the free version or the paid one. Whatever you guys have, you guys can sync it up right now. Let's add in the Spotify because I know a lot of you will have Spotify and not just um, Google Play Music. So we're gonna add in Spotify. We're gonna go yes, link account. So we're linking our Spotify account with our Google Home. Same deal goes if you guys have a Home Mini. All right, doesn't matter if you guys have Google Home, Home Mini, this is the way you guys link this up. So we can log in to our Spotify. And from here, guys can just put your email and password. Then we just have to accept. So once you guys do that, just press OK. All right, and now we have our Spotify plus our Google Play Music. And I'm just gonna go next. Okay, so these are the main two that everybody has usually. Okay, and this screen is gonna give you a breakdown what has been done. You guys can review it, change anything you guys want, and then just go next. And now your Google Home is ready. Now you can explore what you can do. Go next. Hi, I'm your Google Assistant. I'm here to help. To so you guys should hear that right Google now. The Google Home app. Okay. Just start by saying, hey, Google. And you guys can tell it to play whatever. There's a lot that you can do with Google. It doesn't understand as much as Siri, for example, but it understands quite a bit. Uh, what you guys could do, same thing. You guys can sign up or not. It's up to you. I'm gonna click on no thanks. <laughs> Most of you are gonna click no thanks for that. I'm pretty sure. And uh, that's it. I'm not gonna go through the interface right now. It's just a quick setup video. There is a bit more advanced stuff in there. <laughs> it's really basic, but you guys can go to browse. You guys can check out the app, how it works and everything. But right now you guys are all set up. You guys can play music or do anything with Google. So right now what you guys can do is just say, hey Google, what's my name? Your name is AC. All right, you guys don't need to have your phone on for this. You guys can turn it off, done with your phone. Right now, what you guys can do is just talk to your Google Home. You guys can always turn off the mic, obviously. But um, at this point, what you guys can say is, hey, Google, play music. All right, music on Google Play Music. Here you go. Then it's obviously going to play music. If you guys don't want any music or if you guys want to turn up or down the volume, which there's several ways to do this actually. This is one way to do it. Sensitive, not that sensitive. And just go, hey Google, what's the weather like? Currently in Hamilton, it's 74 and mostly cloudy. Today, it'll be cloudy with a forecasted high of 79 and a low of 64. All right. Anyways, those are your basics for your Google. Right now, you guys can just tell Google to play music. You guys can tell Google, especially for that. Most of you are just gonna do that right now. Uh, there's a bit more advanced stuff. You guys could hook it up to your Apple TV and so on. I'm gonna go through that later on, but uh, that's it for your setup video. You guys are all done. Congrats and have fun with your Google. I'm gonna be setting up next the mini so you guys can stay tuned and keep watching, but that would be the setup for your Google Home. And again, I'm gonna set up this guy because Home Mini is the same one. 
same thing for these two guys, right? And we have to keep going if you guys want to see the setup for both, which is the exact same thing, by the way. So we're just gonna do that right now. Welcome to Google Home. To get started, download the Google Home app on a phone or tablet. Okay, guys, so as I told you, we're gonna be setting up right here, this guy. So it's the same process. We're just gonna tap on setup for Google Home Mini. It's the exact same process that I just did for Google Home. Okay, it's just the meaning, same setup. Okay, so you guys could name it whatever you guys want. Again, you guys have to pick your Wi Fi network. Your Google Home, again, the name can be very customized or you guys can just pick whatever like I just did. So we're gonna hook it up to your internet. Then we should see this connecting to Wi-Fi. So again, it's connecting up our Google Home Mini. And it's the same process with this one, okay? So whatever color you guys have, same deal. So again, we're connected, blah, blah, blah. You guys can go next. From here, you guys have to click on I agree. And in this case, since we set up our Google Home, it already recognizes our voice since uh, the setup is done within the app already. So we don't really have to go through that again to set up our Google Home Mini, but uh, it would it would have been the same exact setup. So we're just gonna go agree. Same deal, you guys can choose the voice you guys want. And here you guys can pick your address or just search for your address. I do recommend having your address there. It just makes it easy if you guys want to get traffic info. So we're gonna go next. We're just gonna go through this, see if we want to change anything. If you guys don't want to change anything, just go next. And in this case, it's installing an update. Not everybody's gonna get this, so don't worry about it. If you guys don't see installing update, nothing to worry about. So once it downloads the update, it's gonna install. Installation time shouldn't take long either. Okay, just like Google Home, you guys can see that everything's Hi, ready. Hi, I'm your Google Assistant. I'm here to help. To learn a few things you can do, continue in the Google Home app. And yeah, you guys can go through a tutorial of what you guys can actually do. I suggest doing so, so you guys can get acquainted to what you guys can and can't do. But you guys can always test it out and see what's up. So again, we're not gonna sign up for that. And we are done. That's the setup for your Google Home Mini. I hope you guys liked the video. Hopefully this helped you out. It's the same thing. This should work just like the other one. So if I tell it, hey Google, how's the weather? Currently in Hamilton, it's 74 and mostly cloudy. Anyways, guys, that's it for our setup. Now, hey Google, it's supposed to work right away. No matter which one you guys have, whether it's this one or this one, it's all gonna be the same setup video for both of them. And as long as you guys could see that, it's the same thing for your Google Home, then you guys will be more comfortable setting up your Google Home Mini or your Google Home. Anyways, if you guys have any questions, comments, you can write them down here in the comments area. And don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.